When a Leewood man suffered a heart attack at the gym, he just happened to have people around him who knew exactly what to do. In a story you'll only see on KSHB 41, reporter Emma James talked to the man whose life was saved there at that gym. I'm 56 years old, you know, I'm too young to have a heart attack, but I had a heart attack. John Longin was doing his regular morning workout class at the Carriage Club in KC Mo when he started feeling off. His stomach hurt, not the typical symptom of a heart attack, but within minutes he passed out in a chair. Thankfully, St. Luke's nurse Jenny Legg just happened to be feet away. She and other trainers jumped into action, doing CPR and using an AED. Legg calls the whole experience emotional. I work in the hospital. And, but it's different when it's your friend. Leg and the other trainers worked on Longin until paramedics arrived to take him to St. Luke's Hospital. He later learned what happened. The overwhelming emotion and feeling that I have is gratitude and trying to understand how truly blessed I am to have gone through this whole thing and being given a second chance at life. Longin suffered a major heart attack, but doctors quickly opened up his blocked artery with a balloon and stent. In a case like Longin's, they say timing is key. It's everything, you know, um, so being close by is, is huge. Uh, you know, when patients uh, go to uh, smaller hospitals or, uh, you know, local ERs sometimes that don't have the, you know, cath lab uh, capability, then, uh, you know, their procedures can be delayed, um, you know, even for a couple of hours as we get them transferred here. His smooth recovery wouldn't have been possible without the fast actions of those nearby. The key was everybody worked as a team and every there was clear communication and, um, you know, everybody did their part. Longin is on the road to recovery and slowly getting back to working out. His message to others, get checked out, even if you don't think you're at risk for a heart attack, and learn CPR and how to use an AED. Be somebody who fights for somebody's life. And, and I was so blessed to have three people around me, at least, who knew what to do and jumped into action. In Kansas City, Emma James, KSHB 41 News. We're so glad that story had a happy end.